What is the saddest song you have ever heard in your life? The drugs don't work, the verve. Empty chairs at empty tables lame as irables. Slipknot, snuff. The entire week of Dan's discography. He stopped loving her today George Jones. Sam Stone, by John Prine. It's about a Vietnam vet who returns addicted to morphine. It's told from his child's point of view. The hook line is, there's a hole in daddy's arm where all the money goes. Lock Lomond. I don't know who wrote it originally, but I was asked to sing it at my niece's funeral. She was 11 when she killed herself. The hardest part is the last time I sang that song in public was for a competition and I won, but that night my friend's husband raped me telling me how special it was that I was singing just for him. When I was asked a few years later to sing it for my niece's funeral I just couldn't say no but I couldn't keep anything together. I had to get a friend to drive me the four hours to the funeral because I know I would have crashed if I drove myself from crying and PTSD panic attacks, and more crying. Gordon Lightfoot's If You Could Read My Mind Girl. You can hear his pain throughout the song. Claire de Lune, Debussy. Daddy by Corn. A song about the lead singer being arped as a child. It's haunting and towards the end he starts screaming and crying into the mic out of genuine agony while the band continues to play, it gives me chills every time. The other day I was at my friend's house. She has three kids whose father committed suicide a few years back. A bunch of us were outside and the 10 years slash show girl comes out with her uke and wants to play us a song but says she's feeling sad or something. So one person there, unaware of her history, asks her to play the saddest song in the world. They just wanted to encourage her. Well she makes up this song about missing her dad. How she feels like an outcast and how hard it is to spend time at her friends houses, because her friends all have dads. She sang about forgetting sometimes that he's dead, getting excited to spend time with him and then remembering. Asking why he left her and if he loved her. And telling him how she just doesn't know how to go on without him. Ten year old girls laments about losing her father to suicide. Fuck dude it was so quiet. Everyone just told her it was a really nice song and thank you for sharing how you feel. The Funeral, Band of Horses. Daddy, Corn. It's about the lead singer being raped as a child. I heard at a concert once Corn was going to play it and he told his bandmates whatever happens to me, don't stop playing. Landslide, Fleetwood Mac. All I want, Coda Line. You know you're right, Nirvana. It was the last song the band recorded together, on January 30, 1994, and it really shows you what Kurt Cobain was thinking before his death, lyrics like I have never failed to fail, and never speak a word again, I will crawl away for good are especially haunting now. Haven't seen it yet, The Scientist by Coldplay. Also, Fix You by them as well. Hear you me, Jimmy Eat World. Kettering, The Antlers. High Hopes by Pink Floyd, always makes me think back to my childhood and how it will never, ever, come back again. Hate Me by Blue October hits hard and everyone should hear it. But if you want a song to really break you on some Lovecraftian level crap videotape by Radiohead. I don't recommend listening to this song if you've ever been suicidal it's in no way good for you. Down in a Hole, Alice in Chains. Hate Me by Blue October without going into personal details, just ya takes you somewhere you don't want to be. Fake Plastic Trees by Radiohead. Landslide. Fast Car, Tracy Chapman. It's sad because of how melancholy and miserable the message is. What started out as hope and plan to leave the place she grew up slowly turns to misfortune and a missed opportunity where now she's just stuck in the same place without a mother, father, or the person she loved. Just living an unfulfilling life day by day, until she just accepts this is the way it is and there's no hope for a better life. Anthony and the Johnsons, hope there's someone. Hosier Cherry Wine. Angel, by Sarah McLaughlin. All I can think about it the pitiful animals in the Humane Society commercials. Can't Handle This by Bo Burnham. I Will Follow You Into the Dark by Death Cab for Cutie. 
Heard it the day my childhood dog and grandpa passed away and bawl my eyes out every time. Tracy Chapman's fast car. I genuinely cannot listen to the night we met by Lord Huron. I can't do it, it breaks my heart too much. Adam's song by Blink 182. I used to listen to this song on a loop and just cry to it throughout my teens. I related far too much to the song. I'd especially son at the end where Mark sings tomorrow holds such better days because I hoped I'd believe that someday. I can't listen to it anymore because while I'm doing a lot better I know I'll have flashbacks to the emotions I used to feel laying there listening to it. Blink 182, Adam's song, this makes me feel for all the kids who never made it through high school because they just couldn't deal with life. Sound of Silence by Simon and Garfunkel. Down in a Hole by Alice in Chains. Strange Fruit, Billy Holiday. Taps. Makes me teary every time. So final. It's quiet uptown. I cry when I think about it. Sometime around midnight, the airborne toxic event. Just conveys the emotion of seeing an ex who's moved on with another person. Jeremy, Pearl Jam. Nutshell, Alice in Chains. Black. Pearl Jam. Fade to Black, Metallica. Tears in Heaven, Eric Clapton. I'm Native American. When my grandpa Jimmy Blackburn passed away 20 years ago, they created a traditional song for him. It was insanely beautiful. When they hit the chorus, it broke everybody. Even the singers had trouble participating. We'll be right back.